All right, folks, we got a, another video here on the O3YZ250F. This is going to be technically, I guess you would call it part one of the reassembly. Um, I was going to originally make the motor part one, but I'm still waiting on a bearing. It's uh, Saturday, May 1st, and I'm just uh, just tired of waiting, so I want to get uh, working on this thing. So, first thing we've done, just uh, used a couple bungees, suspended the uh, frame from the, uh, the garage door opener. I was going to use a, uh, a hook like I've got on my bicycle ones. I do have some. I was just going to slap another one up there, but it's not real heavy, so I'm just going to use it uh, right there. Now, the product I'm going to use, I know I uh, discussed possibly powder coating in my original video, but I'm just going to paint it. Um, reason being is, again, there's oil goes through the frame. When you sandblast it, um, many things could happen, so I don't want to take that chance. The product I'm going to be using is this, uh, this aircraft stripper. I'm going to use that um, to strip the frame. I do have some uh, other aircraft stripper that is uh, it's actually like a, uh, a goo or whatnot, but I figured I'd try the aerosol for once. Basically, you want to shake it up real well, and you want to start spraying on the frame. In about 10 minutes, it'll get soft, supposedly. Never used this before. And then uh, if you wait about another uh, 30 minutes, it'll be crinkled up. And what I'm going to do is power wash it off once it gets uh, to that point. So right now I'm going to start spraying this on. You just want to use back and forth motions like you would anything else. And that's simply uh, just going to go over the whole frame. For now I've only got one can of this. Hopefully that's all I need. And uh, I'm going to continue doing this, and we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like in about 30 minutes. So stay tuned. Okay, real quick update. I just got done finishing spraying it. Um, since I made the last video, it's been about two minutes. I've sprayed the entire frame. By the time I got on this side, look at that. That's how quick this stuff works. A couple things. Very, uh, use very well ventilated space. See them outside. And while well, I'm in the garage, but I've got it open. Might want to wear a respirator and definitely some hand protection. So, a uh, couple things to consider. But anyway, you can see this is working great. And we'll come back when it's uh, a little further along. Okay, it's been uh, about a half hour. As you can see, get close here. You can see it's just literally just flaking away. Look at that. Um, this has never been painted before. This is factory, so... We're going to go ahead and power wash this. I'll make uh, just a quick video showing me power wash. I'm not going to make the whole thing because uh, power washer is pretty loud. You can see it's all ready to be uh, power washed. And we'll uh, again make a quick video of that and we'll come back. Stay tuned. Okay, there's the first round of power washing. I know I said I'd probably get on vid, but it was just way too loud. It's just a power washer. So there you have it. Gonna have to do another coat of the uh, stripper. You can see it got quite a bit of it, but in some areas, and, that, and it's probably good enough for painting, honestly, but I'd like to get it all off. So, we're gonna spray some more of that on. We'll come back in another half hour. Stay tuned. Okay, we sprayed it with the aircraft cleaner again, uh, one second time, and uh, power washed the bit. I didn't get a good power wash on it. Chances are this may come off with another power wash. But it's, it's getting kind of late. I don't want to uh, affect the neighbors or anything like that. So um, I may just take a wire wheel to it. I may not do anything to it at all. It may not come off. Um, chances are if it didn't come off with two, it, I mean, it's perfectly smooth. But if it didn't come off with two uh, power washings and uh, two applications of the uh, aircraft remover, it's probably not going to affect the paint job at all. See, there's just a, a, a little bit of a haze here uh, up there, but it's pretty much done um, that'll do it for this video I just wanted to show you one of stripping then I'm going to do it in a series I'll have the next one will be uh, prepping uh, and priming probably in one video and then lastly the paint and then the clear coat and then we'll move on from there but uh, there you have it as always uh, thanks for watching please feel free to comment post questions um, recommendations and uh, rate and subscribe thanks for watching